Hello everyone, my name is Jay Cork and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get back the old Alton tab or is it actually known as the task switcher. So in Windows 10 the task switcher now looks like this. Personally it's one of my uh, favourite changes, I like that it shows you what you've got and you can tab through it and also click on it like you would here. Um, but uh, some people may like the old version and if you do uh, there's a little shortcut that you can use where you hold down the left alt, tap the right alt and then press tab and then you get this menu up. This is a uh, awkward and not the best solution if you do prefer this sort of mode of doing it. So I'm going to be showing you how to get that to be a permanent change so pressing alt and tab automatically brings up uh, the correct view. So we're going to be using the registry editor in this tutorial, so if you're not comfortable messing around in there too much, I suggest creating a system store point before you do, uh, and if not, let's go ahead. So what we want to do is open up the registry editor, which we can do by pressing Windows and R to bring up the run thing, and then type in regedit, which should load up the registry editor. So once you've got the registry editor open up, we want to go to current user, and then software. Uh, Microsoft and uh, go to Windows and uh, once you've got Windows open up we want to go to current version and Explorer. Uh, so once you're here we can click on Explorer and we'll have all these little things up. What we want to do is create our own string which we can do by right clicking on this pane here, going to new and then going to dword 32 bit value and we're going to name this alt tab setting. I'm going to name this alt tab settings with an S. Once you've got the correct name uh, you can press enter. You can right click on this and go to modify and we want to change this value to 1 and then press OK. So once you've done that uh, you may have to log out of your computer uh, but next time you press alt tab it should come up with this menu which you may prefer. If you do not all you have to do is either delete the string, which should be OK, or we can go to Modify, change this value to 0, press OK, and we'll have this menu back open again. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Jayco93. If you found this video useful, uh, then please share it with any friends you've got or anybody you think that might find this useful. 